I'm Garrett McMillan. I'm here at the First Tee Indoor Golf Center, and today I'm testing the new Callaway Paradigm Driver. I'll test the Triple Diamond Paradigm and the Standard Paradigm against my current gamer. Here's the plan. I'll take 10 shots with each and get rid of three of the worst ones. Why am I getting rid of the three worst ones? Because you don't need to see me slice a golf ball 40 yards. Stick around at the end to find out what I think about these drivers and also get a little preview of the Paradigm Iron. So what did I learn testing the Callaway Paradigm Driver and the Paradigm Triple Diamond Driver? Put them up against my gamer, took 10 shots with each one, I took out the worst three. Why did I take out the worst three? Not because I'm trying to show off, because simply the 50 yard slice that I hit doesn't need to be brought into comparing these drivers. That's a user error, not a driver error. I learned that I need to work on my driver game, but we took the 50 yard slices out of there and we got an average. We've got my gamer ball speed average at 167.8, not bad. We've got the Paradigm 3D at three, triple diamond, sorry. Uh, we've got the Paradigm triple diamond at 169.8, so two miles an hour increase, which is cool. Uh, and we've got the normal standard Paradigm driver at 166.4. Now, why is that the lowest one? Simply not the driver for me. I had to try to test it out, see what it was like. Larger club head is usually what I'm driven to because I look for stability. Like I said, I took the 50 yard slice, maybe a couple 30 yard slices out of the comparison. So I tend to look for stability in a driver head for myself personally. Was that the driver for me? No, not the driver's fault, that's a me thing. We can also see that the standard paradigm spun more for me, about 2700 RPMs. Meanwhile, the lower spin drivers, my gamer and the paradigm triple diamond, spun quite a bit less, 2100 for my gamer, 1800 average for the Paradigm Triple Diamond. Now what ends up happening is you have a lower spinning driver, you have weight further forward in the club head. If you look at the Paradigm driver, obviously it's got a weight right up here near the face. It's also a deeper face than the other one. Put them together there, see if you can tell. A little deeper face in the Paradigm, wider face than the normal standard driver. So you're gonna get a lower spinning ball flight out of the triple diamond. But you also end up having a fade bias driver. As soon as you have that weight forward, the driver head becomes harder to release the club head or harder to square the face, so it tends to be fade bias. Oh, straight up comparison, my gamer, a couple miles an hour slower with the ball speed. Launch was actually a degree higher, same loft. Uh, drivers, both eight degree drivers, so interesting that the, the paradigm was a little bit higher. Uh, lower spin in the Paradigm, also higher carry by nine yards. That's a couple miles an hour of ball speed. I got eight miles, or sorry, nine yards of carry. Average 330 total, we'll take that for sure. If you look at the dispersion between the three, you'll notice that the red line, that would be my gamer driver, was a little bit tendency. I had a few left and a few right. Now I like to fade the golf ball, so I'd prefer that there weren't a lot of shots that went left because that's how I want to play the game. I want to take out half the golf course. So I want the ball to fade. Dispersion and consistency wise, Paradigm was a little bit tighter on the right side and didn't curve left for me, which is nice. What's the takeaway here from this driver? It's really good. Obviously the Callaway Paradigm driver is something you need to give a try. But here's the thing, go get fit. How do we make sure that we know which driver heads for us? Go get fit. Make sure you're talking to someone who knows what they're doing and who can explain to you why different club heads are going to perform differently for you. The new Callaway Paradigm Driver. Make sure you test this one out this year.
of course I've got to try the Callaway Paradigm Iron. I can guarantee this is going to have some ridiculous ball speeds. Why wouldn't I want to see how far this 7-iron can go? Now my normal 7-iron carry is about 180, so that's what we're going to place the green at here. I guess we'd better back that green up to 200. Interesting one for you. Last one I hit carried 185, and I'm pretty sure I almost missed the grooves on the heel. It still went straight, it was still a little cut, but carrying 185 on a huge miss hit. Anybody who doesn't strike the ball in the middle all the time might want to take a look at these things. It's a really nice iron, it's not too thick of a top line, it's definitely chunkier than what I'm going to play, uh, but as far as game improvement iron goes, it's, it's not a shovel like it used to be in the past, so it's a nice clean looking iron, uh, lots of technology in here, obviously there's some driver technology that they're using in irons these days, really ups that ball speed. So if we look at the numbers that are behind me here, I'm uh, averaging 197 carry, uh, averaging 202 total. However, spin rate is the interesting one. Obviously, it's down compared to my normal 7-iron. So that's one reason why the ball is carrying further as well. Spin went down to averaging around 5,000. I got one miss hit that was 5,500 there. But obviously, a 7-iron, we're looking, to, we're looking to spin at about 7,000, 6,500. So it's a little bit lower spinning, but you can see that there's some serious ball speed with these things. And like I said, anybody who doesn't hit the middle of the face, this is one you might want to give a rip with. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more great content like this.